Hello everyone. Uh, from now on, we will start to analyze RNA sequencing or uh, whole genome sequencing data. And for that, I'll start from the first uh, step one by one. And if you find uh, follow all the all the tutorials, I will upload uh, sequentially. And if you follow all the tutorials, by the end of the tutorials, you will be e it will be easy for you to download to analyze whole genomic sequencing or RNA sequencing data. Uh, available on NCBI portal, right? So first thing what you have to do, there are a lot of things. First of thing what you have to do is you have to uh, use, whether you have to use NC, uh, Windows or you, are, you want to use Linux or Ubuntu operating system, whatever you have in your hand. But uh, for now, this is the first one. In this first tutorial, I'll explain you how to download a sequencing data from NCBI portal and what is the main thing uh, we well, you need you need to keep in your mind the first thing is that you need an SRA toolkit and this SRA toolkit is actually to to download the sequencing data and uh, here you can see that uh, there is a SRA toolkit from NIH HPC here this is all the information and uh, from here you can go to SRA toolkit documentation and these are the major files which you will be using to download or access or convert uh, the the SRA files into your file of interest and you analyze that so first step is to download this so for that you can go to SRA toolkit installation guide here from here you can download it, it. for example here you can see that download the zip from the link above so it is for Windows Ubuntu CentOS and Mac operating systems but for Windows you just need to click this one and it will start higher I just cancelled and if just start here let me see when you click it it will be downloaded here as a zip file right so after downloading it you have to do a quick configuration guide for instance I have downloaded this in here if I go here I have downloaded in software software there is SRA toolkit and these are this is the, these are the files and unzipped files which were downloaded from here and uh, yes after downloading it what is the first step you need to do is to check that whether the the you have to open the command prompt and from the command prompt you have to for example run any command and you can check it for instance here sorry uh, for instance here uh, in the command prompt this is the for example I just go back for you to for your understanding for example here I went to the softwares that is installed in the softwares and from softwares is uh, SRA toolkit documentation right and in SRA tool documentation what you have to do is there is a file this is a if I go here again no uh, sorry DIR again there is a SRA toolkit folder and in this folder there would be a lot of files and uh, uh, files and folders and this is saying that you need to go into CD bin to check whether this is working or not so you click here it's write down CD bin and after going here you can just paste this fastq.dump command to check whether your 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 uh, uh, SRA toolkit is working properly or not, right? So if you just write it here and you just try this, and if you see here, so after writing this up, so in the within few seconds, the command should produce this exact output, right? So it should be uh, here. Uh, 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 be this command should be shown here it's taking uh, uh, it's saying that few seconds so few seconds would be like let's see how much time is it, does it take but it's well it's not giving an error and it's actually uh, running fine and uh, this should give me the output let's wait for a while and I guess we'll get the file so it if this uh, command is working fine it means that the uh, our documentation for the SRA toolkit is done you just you just need to download the zip file and extract the zip file and then in the zip file what you have to do is to go the ex extracted folder you have to go into the bin using command prompt and just paste this command and by pasting this command you can easily see that uh, if the file is working or not so here you can see that after writing this fast dash dump std out and this uh, this uh, exception number 
I've got the similar output just like the output given here. So it means our file is working. So first thing is what you have to do here is to install the SRI toolkit. So in the next uh, small tutorial, I'll explain you how to download the or access the SRI uh, uh, data from NCBI. So first follow this and uh, I'll, I'll get back to you with the next step. Best. Bye-bye.